the hills are shadows, and they flow from form to form, and nothing stands like clouds that shape themselves and go. Okay, here we go. Actually, that cut, that wasn't even the whole poem, actually. I cut right into it. Okay, I don't just, I don't know. <laughs> I just felt like saying it. I don't know. What's up? Okay. Okay, just got off work. I haven't really prepared a lot today, which it doesn't matter because I'll just like blah, 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 blah. It'll be fine. It always is. So, okay, just got off work. Had to work late. Uh, okay, tired as heck. I, okay, I got four and a half stupid hours of sleep last night. Oh, and I got to work tomorrow. Tomorrow's Saturday. Yeah, as I always, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, anyway, yeah, so, dude, sleeping is stupid right now, but you know what, it'll, it'll get better, it'll iron itself out, okay, that's just what it is, it's what it is, dude, when those men fought in that war, they didn't get, they didn't get great sleep for so long, I mean, whatever, I mean, they're getting shot at and bombed, and you know what I mean, like, how could you sleep good, even when, like, you weren't getting shot at, and, <laughs> you know what I mean, or advancing, and then it's like, oh, wait, we're doing good now, now we need to get up and go to this town, I mean, or, you know what I mean, like, anyway, okay, so yeah, four and a half hours of sleep, stupid, 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 but, you know, you know what, though, on my lunch, victory, airstrikes, or, airstrikes, airstrikes, ran two miles on my lunch, okay, yes, it's hard, and it sucks to do that on your lunch, but trying to do, doing all the right things, okay, exercising is key. It made me feel a lot better. Okay. And yes, work is an absolute, I know I say this, but it, it's rough. It's a grind. I mean, but it's gotten better. It's just sleeping thing is just stupid. This is my good pin. All right. I don't know, but, but seriously, like, Oh, it's, it, it, it is a grind, dude. It is a grind. I'm not like crazy apathetic. Like, I, I mean, like it, it was worse, like recently, but like, there's a little bit of motivational issues too, or kind of a little bit. I mean, I'm, you're, my motivation isn't up, up the game. I know that like, you know, I'd rather just talk and not like actually work. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just like stand there and talk about crap instead of like actually dig and find this and do this and go to the talk or well I, I don't know talk about I just don't like talking about work stuff I guess yeah anyway okay energy yeah energy levels are lower but they're not crazy bad like yes I've talked about it a million times you deal with it but it's really that isn't like terrible and you probably you probably when you're not sleeping good you kind of just notice like the fact that you're not sleeping good too so that sucks honestly the, the one of the the big things that I've been doing with lately too is like headaches, man. Been getting a lot of headaches. And like I had one for most of the day. Like it wasn't terrible, but it was just there and it's just when you're not sleeping too, it's just like of course you're going to have a headache. Like when you're on 63 days and you're just having, you know what I mean? Like I mean, whatever though. Like it's not don't let it scare you. It's not that big of a deal. It's like this long hangover or you know what I mean, I don't know. I, I was kind of getting just a hair, just a little bit of kind of some icky feelings today, but not major, not like major, but just a little bit of that like detox feel, just a little bit. It was very mild, okay, for, for like a couple hours in the morning, okay. But anyway, but yeah, seriously though, but like baby steps, this is baby steps, baby steps, okay, this whole process, this whole detox, this whole recovery, baby steps, don't take it, take it one day at a time. Okay. Seriously. Like that is helping. Like seriously, take it one day at a time. Don't get ahead of yourself with the good or the bad. Don't think, Oh, this is done. I'm sleeping better now for three days. And Oh yeah, I'm getting get ahead of yourself and have it bring you down. But don't also, so don't, so don't get, you know, jump the pink cloud, but like, don't also just like, Oh man, I'm not sleeping good now. What am I not going to sleep good for another month or don't even go there. Just take it one day at a time. Have faith in God. Seriously. He, he like just understand the process, but don't let it overwhelm you and, and, and mess with your mind and, and don't jump the gun both ways, bad and good. You get what I'm saying? Positive and negative. Just go with the flow one day at a time, baby steps. Okay. Seriously. Let's, let's be realistic about this and take like gird ourselves up and take it, take it like men. Or you know what though? I know that there's women doing it too seriously right now as we speak 
uh, absolutely. So anyway, so I don't know. Women are tougher than guys anyway. I think I've said that before. So anyway, just, I don't know. At least you're not having a baby right now or, well, I guess it's a good thing too, but I, I hear it's pain. I hear it's pretty painful. <laughs> so anyway, okay, here we go. Or yeah, just be like, oh, I'm not having a baby on the Oregon Trail on a wagon in 1813. <laughs> you know what I mean? Anyway, okay, here we go. But seriously, yeah, just one day at a time because you never, you never know what's going to come around the corner. We've seen it in my, we've seen it in my recovery, folks. We've seen it in my detox. We're all like, all of a sudden, I'll like start sleeping good for four or five days. And then, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know. I could sleep great tonight and wake up tomorrow feeling great. Probably not. Well, okay. Okay. Uh, see, I'm falling into that. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever, whatever God wants. Okay. Okay. Um, anyway, but you just don't let this wear you out. Okay. Don't let it remember. This is a, remember I said this at the beginning and, and maybe not everyone, you know, has been watching all of these, but like, it's a war of attrition. This is a long war. And like there are these little battles, these little skirmishes, and then it leaves, you know, like you get crappy sleep and then it goes away and you sleep kind of better. And then you kind of don't. And then like, all of a sudden you feel like, like you're losing your mind and then you kind of get better. It's like all these little skirmishes and it's trying to wear you out. It's trying to beat you down. Um, and, and, but don't let it, don't let it exhaust you. Don't let it wear you out. Okay. If you, I don't even care. Like if you're just a few days in or something like, dude, you've already come that far. Like seriously, you've already come four days in. you've already come a weekend. You've already done your, doing your taper. Like you're already on the, like, keep it going. Let's beat this to the end. Unconditional surrender. Seriously. Okay. Okay. Uh, but yeah, just don't let it, don't let this detox exhaust you. I just want to really just don't lose faith. You know, sometimes, and sometimes, dude, so, here's the deal too. Like sometimes I was thinking about like, sometimes we can do all the right things. Like we can have, we have the right diet and exercise and take the right supplements. You know what I mean? And, and, and be, and be in the word of God and be praying and seriously have strong faith or whatever. You know what I mean? Like have a good support group or whatever. You know, you can have all the right things and things still might not be going right or not be going how you expected, or you're just, it, things are hitting you hard or something like, but you know what? Like seriously, like you, you gotta, uh, or yeah, not getting sleep, whatever, but like th- you can be doing all the right things and things aren't going to be going, going right. But like, don't let it bring you down. Like, you know, may- maybe it would be worse. You know, maybe you don't know, like if you weren't doing all the right things, maybe it would just be that much harder. But like, seriously, even if, th- if you're doing all the right things and things aren't going right, don't lose faith. Do not lose faith. Don't let it, don't let it bring you down. Okay. Keep the faith, st- you know, keep, keep, keep the faith in the process of getting clean and, and keep your faith in God. Seriously. Like let's stay faithful, stay faithful to the process. Okay. And, uh, cause dude, we, we, we're on a mission. We want this for ourselves too. And for our lives. And there's re there's reasons, there's deep reasons why we're even here. You know, I don't, I don't even care. Even if you're, even if you're not even planning, you're doing a taper or anything. If you're watching this right now, you're obviously, you're thinking about maybe getting off of it, or you kind of get what I'm saying. You have an interest of like, so like, seriously, don't forget that. Like there's reasons why we were, we were getting clean, you know, good reasons, big reasons. This is very serious. You're going to be able to do anything seriously. Okay. Anyway, I've, I've said that a million times, but seriously, you're, you're, you're going to be, you're just going to be such an impressive human being. Okay. Seriously. Like seriously, you already are. You already are. Okay. Seriously. I, and I really mean that. Okay. Here we go. Talking about keeping the faith, baby. I barely have any scripture today. Like I said, this was, I just crammed this together. Okay. Psalm 119.30. I believe Psalm 119 is the longest chapter in the Bible, actually. I am, you know what? I am, I'm going to say it is. I am like certain it is actually. It's so long. I remember when I read that the first time I was like, what in the world? This is a long song. Like it'd be like one of those progressive songs that go like 17 minutes long. Okay. Anyway. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Psalm 11930. Yeah. This is just a verse. Um, I have chosen the way of faithfulness. I have set my heart on your laws is what David's saying to God. Okay. So we're setting our heart. Dude, dude. We're, 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 we've chosen the way of faithfulness. We're, we're going to be faithful to God. We're going to be faithful to this process to the end, to the end, baby. Okay. And his laws are written on our heart. It's, that's the thing. Like, that's the thing. Like when you set your law, when you set your heart on his laws, like, like it, it's not like, Oh, re, your relapse isn't right on the mind. It's like, no, I gotta like be, I gotta love people. I gotta have the right motives. Like you, you put that at a high standard. You put that crap at a high standard, baby. And, and it helps you. It helps you 
deal with 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 the other stuff too because you're so focused on his kingdom and his will you kind of go saying and dude i'm not saying like dude i'm i'm not even close to perfect at all i'm not even i mean i don't even that that doesn't even do it a certain like just to me it's like i'm not even close to perfect no it's like worse than that like this is a constant struggle it's it's a constant battle to me for me to really even though i love reading my bible like to really get in there and really and, and pray and, and find time to really really pray good and stuff like it, it's a battle every day i sin every day it's it's a struggle understand like don't think like you believe and it just i don't know i don't even know i'm probably getting off here but let's just i don't know let's 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 set the bar high okay there we go but but like the bible paul writes and i and i don't remember where this is but he, he compares to like keeping the faith of like running a race like life like life like we're all gonna run this race. it's all gonna end we're all gonna die but like let's run the race and have endurance okay and let's get you finish the race you get the prize at the end okay and so like think of the recovery like this too like yes our lot that's our lives that's our existence you know our our existence is is that too like it's all gonna end and you know we got to answer to god um but uh so let's let's run that race let's keep the endurance in this process okay all right here we go hebrews 11 1 okay now this is kind of this is i think i've read this before but i just like this so i wanted to use it again because we're talking about faith kind of it's kind of i don't know i don't know if the theme is very theme like or whatever <laughs> i don't know whatever okay anyway hebrews 11 1 now faith is confidence in what we hope hope for and assurance about what we do not see bam baby i mean like so that that faith like we gotta have confidence we dude you you gotta have faith in this process you gotta have confidence like yes it is going to end things will get better even though if it sucks right now and you're doing all the right things and it doesn't seem to be working it's all good like dude like th- you know having faith having that confidence even when things aren't going right sometimes there's people all around the world that that their whole nothing's going right for them and they still have faith in jesus they still have faith in god they still are more joyful than half of these spoiled americans seriously people in the west like seriously they complain like the internet's not fast enough you know or whatever it's like a teenage a tween that was a tween right there yeah which will be my daughter not too long oh okay sorry anyway okay but 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 seriously like but but you have faith till the end like dude dude think of the disciples they were in prison and killed and stuff they kept kept the faith till the end and that boy they get a they boy they they are they got a nice big prize in uh i bet they got like a giant i bet they got a giant box of chocolates when they got to heaven or something swell like maybe even gummy bears or something no all right that's stupid but because that would be that'd be like that's what i got for this no okay anyway anyway okay but we should really love people from it Gen- genuine our love should be genuine it shouldn't be be just about saving our own skin it was always about saving my own skin and that's why it never worked okay for me or for a while, so much of my life i'm sorry okay but uh okay anyway all right here we go last last verse okay here we go I don't know. I just felt like on my heart, like this was just so good. I love everything that John writes. Seriously. Other than Revelation. Well, I don't dislike Revelation. It's just such a controvert. Like so many people believe it's this and believe it's that. And then I read it and I'm like, where the heck did they get that? Like, or, or I don't know. It's, it actually is a really fun book, but any, anyway, or, or it's a good, I don't, I'm sorry. I, I'm like going way off, but anyway. Okay. But like J- the gospel of John and like first, second, third John, like dude, first john is freaking awesome and here we go first john five five who is it that overcomes the world question mark who is it that overcomes the world john asks well he knows the answer only the one who believes that jesus is the son of god okay because jesus overcame the world and the spirit that comes from the father dwells in us and we overcome the world okay i'm not saying you're gonna be perfect okay but you are overcoming the flesh if you are doing this detox you are going against the flesh you are going against what your body and your mind is telling you it's saying i need this i need this i need this what are you doing to me we take this every day you idiot but the spirit inside of you is saying enough is enough i will not bow down to that bull crap anymore i'm not going to be your slave screw you you stupid authoritarian fascist communist butthole sorry i don't know okay sorry uh anyway okay 
Love you guys. Stay clean. God bless. I don't know if this video was very helpful. Anyway, God bless and salute.